Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma. Behind the camera is Alex, sitting around not doing anything. <laughs> and today we're building a kitchen! After getting motivation from other van lifers in the previous video, it was time to crack on with our build. In this video, we build the kitchen frame and hit a number of bumps along the way. Oh, <laughs> I made a mistake! Over the next few days, the weather is supposed to be naff. It's gonna be raining every day. So I'm going to attempt to cut all of the wood that I need for the kitchen area today while the weather is good. Now I've finished chopping all of the wood, it's time to build. So let me show you what I have here. We have the wood for the bulkhead, the worktop, and everything we need for the frame. So everyone's kitchen is going to be different. We have decided to go for a very basic ply worktop, mainly because we can't be bothered to shop around and find anything fancier. And I think it could be temporary, but it will do for now. We've decided not to go for a sink so that we can maximize the storage space underneath. Please tell us in the comments how crazy we are for not going for a sink. But our way of thinking is that we've done so many trips and campers in the past, we never use sink that much and we are more than happy to wash off our dishes outside. So that's our way of thinking. That could change down the line, we'll see. The trouble with a van build is that everything takes so bloody long. <laughs> <laughs> way longer than you ever predict. Well, like, especially when you like... keep making mistakes. <laughs> Guys, I have to apologize to you because, I mean, you must be bored. I'm bored waiting around for her to finish this van. Uh, uh, you get to see it all sped up in a really short space of time. I have to sit and watch <laughs> behind the camera for four hours straight while she gets it wrong time <laughs> after time. And I just want you to apologize to them. You poor soul, I am so sorry for taking so long building our camper van. <sighs> that should get a few comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. so, so what do you need to do? Okay, so, I mean, it's not so easy to explain because it's pissing it down with rain. It's proper British weather today. So I'm in the garage trying to do this. This is the top bit of the kitchen workbench that goes in slightly. So stuff i drawers need to be able to slide in and out of this but in all my infinite wisdom yesterday i decided to put some corner brackets on on the inside bit here <laughs> and that's not going to help anyone so my job now quickly is to just quickly <laughs> it'll take me two hours <laughs> is to take those brackets off there and put them there where they're not going to rub against anything let's do this so graceful <laughs> I put wood glue everywhere, too much wood glue, so I think it's kind of made the bracket stick on, which isn't ideal. <laughs> God, it's just mistake after mistake with you. <laughs> this is my luxury gazebo that I have constructed in order to carry on my work in the rain. <laughs> have everything for the frame ready the next step is to get it all into the van and put it together I could have put it together outside but I don't think we'll get it through the door so we'll take it in put it together fingers crossed the local peacocks swooping in so, they sound like dinosaurs so I didn't know apart from on that last video where the peacock turned up that there was just peacocks roaming around this place it's a peacock on a house oh, I've yeah. never seen that in my life yeah, it's pretty weird. Okay, we've got the frame inside the van. Um, I just had to shave a tiny little bit off the top of that because it didn't quite fit underneath. But it's all in and I think it's ready to assemble and put it all together. And once that's done, we can actually sort of put the, the top on it and show you what it's gonna look like once it's done. How was that first one? <laughs> <laughs> Everything aches and hurts because like the, the weird angles that I'm in to try and do it. It's a little, it's 
a little tricky. Not my 20s anymore, mate. Can't do this. Would you like me to do some? No way. <laughs> she won't let me, even if I try. <laughs> it's fun. Back in you go. <laughs> it's like back at home, keeping you in a cave. <laughs> I let you out for the bank immersion. That's it. <laughs> back, back in, in your I cage. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be some people who think you're being serious. There are always some people that think I'm being serious. <laughs> Have they met you? <laughs> are you ever serious about anything? <sighs> did we do it? <laughs> we did it! We did it, didn't we? We did. So this is the basic frame for our kitchen. Let me just show you where everything's gonna be so you can kind of imagine it and then I'll put the tabletop on so you can see it. So this is where the fridge is gonna go in this little space under here. So we had to make sure to leave a gap there so it can be flush with the floor. Up here, we're gonna have a little drawer. Over here, a bunch more storage and that'll be where our gas is gonna be as well. And then the worktop goes on like that. <laughs> it's like an actual kitchen now. So obviously it's going to look better once we kind of decorate it. And Deco no, no, this this is done. This is what it's going to look like. Well, no, this looks like shit, Emma. <laughs> you can't say it looks like shit when you sit around doing all behind the camera. Well, I thought I could trust you because I thought women building a kitchen, they would know exactly how it should look nice and where they want to be. <laughs> You're a pig! An absolute pig! I can't believe I'm with you! Do some heavy lifting, will you? <laughs> I've just had a realisation slash mini heart attack. Um, this may not fit with the bed for the extended. <laughs> I thought I measured everything right, but I haven't tested it, so I don't actually know. We might... Oh, I should have done this before I screwed it all together. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to take that off because that's going to get in the way. Oh my god. It's overlapping. It's not going to fit. No. Oh! <laughs> I made a mistake! <gasps> After all that, it doesn't even bloody fit. Mate, what have I done? Yeah, let me just double check. This is as far back as this bit goes. Luckily, all the, the glue should be set and dried by now as well on, <laughs> on the kitchen counter, so that just <laughs> adds to my issues. What was that thing measured twice, cut once? Mate, I measured like 10 times. If, if you get a measure in, it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> that can't be adjusted should, anyway because the fridge Should we make it. sure that the fridge fits? Please tell me this is going to fit. <laughs> I'll be so shy. <laughs> so embarrassed, sorry, if this doesn't fit. Okay, moment of truth. It's going to be a tight squeeze. Yeah, I've allowed, well, I've, I <laughs> thought I allowed 10 mil um, wiggle room either side. And I think... Nice! Okay, yeah, don't force it because the sheet is going to Okay, but that's going to go in. Up. It is going to go in. <sighs> One win at least! <laughs> I can only think of one solution, which can be guaranteed without too much faff, because the bed will be a faff to move. Um, <laughs> it's annoying because the glue's set now, so I'm going to have to like hack it apart a bit, but I'm just going to take all of these brackets off of these pieces, and then I'm going to take the jigsaw, bring it in here, make a mess inside the van and just cut off it's 65 or yeah 65 mil over so i'm just going to chop off 65 mil of all four of these and then stick this back on and then hopefully it will fit <laughs> There has to be, you should have stuck the cleaning joke in there somewhere. I just can't think of it. 
Try this again. Try one more time, shall we? Maybe we should open the bed. I agree. <laughs> Oh, lovely. <laughs> She's done it. She's bloody done it. I've bloody done it. Is it time for dinner now? I think you deserve a little break and then you can make us dinner. <laughs> <laughs> can we just give right. Emma a little bit of appreciation in the comments of what an absolute legend she is? <laughs> I probably made it hard for myself. I probably could have done it in a much easier way. <laughs> but there you go. This was the lazy way, which has probably turned out to be more work than it was worth. But there you go. So this is our final kitchen frame all done. I've actually decided to add in a special compartment to store the gas. It was very confusing when I was looking online trying to figure out the best way to do it, but I asked you guys on Instagram and based on your responses as well as my own research, I've decided to do a sealed off compartment in the back of the cupboard here for the gas with access from the top and a drop vent going down to the bottom of the van so any sort of leaked gas there should be able to go out that bottom hole. So that gas canister will be leading to our camping stove. We've decided to go for a camping stove over a built-in one because we want to cook outside as much as possible and this means that we can just take out the gas canister from its little locker here and the cooker and go and cook outside as much as we want. We have gone for a two hob burner which is the Kadak 2 Cook 2 Pro and the cool thing about this one is you can actually take these off and put these hot plates on them. So we've got sort of these already made hot plates which are gonna, for storage, slot in nice and easily to be able to cook on. Also this one. And this one. There we go, so Al can have his sausages cooked right inside the van. And finally our food, aka our sausages, are going to be stored in the sausage fridge down here. We've <laughs> gone for a... Sausage inside a fridge? <laughs> yeah, sausage inside a fridge. It's, it can actually be changed, the latches, to open on the other side. This is a Dometic, is it 50 litre we've gone for? I think so. And yeah, this should be all of our food storage here. And then we also have some drawer space up here and at least one, if not two drawers down here, as well as this cupboard space around the gas. Leave us in the comments down below how you would design your kitchen differently or would you do it the same way? Would you have yourself a sink? Would you have a built-in hob? Let us know down below. If you enjoyed this video, found it at all useful or just like me, give me a like. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more van renovation slash travel content. And that's it. Beans out.